praise the Lord. We give God all the glory. Today is another day that the Lord has given unto us. Father, we just want to say thank you because you've been so good unto us. Today too, we pray that you have your way. Spirit of God, teach us and help us understand you better as we wait for your second coming. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Brethren, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? And we'll take our devotional reading from Matthew chapter 1, the verses 18 to 25. Matthew 1, 18 to 25. As we near the birth of Christ, as we near the period of Christmas, let's have this in mind. The birth of Jesus the Messiah. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, this is a story that has never been heard of and will never be heard of because Jesus was a special person who had to come into this world. God the Son who came in the flesh. And the angel continued, continued to speak to Joseph. Hallelujah. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born, and Joseph named him Jesus. Brethren in the Lord, look at this bold step that Joseph took. We read from the beginning of Matthew, the genealogy of Jesus. And from the beginning of chapter 2 to, we read how Jesus was born. We will read how Jesus was born and how God sent the wise men and how the angels appeared to the, to the shepherds. God made sure that he appeared to all people of he appeared to people of all sorts. The shepherds were the low esteemed and the wise men were the high esteemed. When we look at the way Mary became pregnant, it is through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes upon us to transform our lives. But in Mary's case, the Holy Spirit came to send the Messiah through her. The Bible says that she is highly favored amongst all women. And it is true. If the Savior of the world should come through a human being and God chose Mary, it means that God has really favored her. She was highly favored. In the same way, we are not giving birth to Jesus, but we carry Jesus because we've accepted him as our Lord and personal Savior. He lives within us. And he will be with us. Jesus, when he was leaving the world, he said he would send the Holy Spirit in place of him. So Jesus is seated at the right hand side of the Father, dwelling in our spirit being, dwelling in our soul. And the Holy Spirit is glorifying the Father, the Son in this world. The Holy Spirit is the power that brings into action all that Jesus has told us about what God can do. The Holy Spirit teaches us. The Holy Spirit 
reveals it unto us. Hallelujah. And so who do you carry? Who do you have? I have Jesus. And I recommend Jesus to you that if you have him, you are highly favored. If you have him, you have the light of the world in you. If you have him, you have the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Even as we move about in our daily activities, let us remember that Jesus is coming again and that this time he'll come to take his children home and come as a judge. God bless you and have a fruitful day today too. Bye-bye.